Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming back. You know, on this uh, news show, you hear a lot about, or have heard in the last year or so, an awful lot about uh, Tim and his performance on the football field and the baseball field, and uh, not really that much about uh, Matt and uh, Liz. Well, it turns out that I've got what they've put together, uh, and I'll tell you who put it together, a uh, thing called a college showcase for uh, my grandson, Matt, who's in high school. And, you know, Matt plays both football and baseball, and uh, uh, the, the team that put this together is the team that he plays in this uh, summer league. And I've gone to a bunch of uh, those games. Uh, they're really terrific. The, the, the teams are coached by uh, major league uh, uh, coaches and ball players, and so they're quite, quite good. Anyway, here is the college showcase that they put together for, uh, for Matt, and uh, I, I think it's uh, pretty terrific. The guy part of the Summit's great program from the Hilltoppers, Matt McKeever, plays a lot of different positions. Yeah, another another really, really good athlete. Pretty sure he's quarterback as well. Um, but just a big, strong kid with a lot of power. Um, you know, he, he's going to develop. You know, he catches, he pitches, kind of does it all. You know, right now we got a little Bugs Bunny with all the different things. And, you know, as we get older, he'll settle into to different things. But, you know, like you said, you just see there, there's a freshman driving the ball. Yep. You know, 345 down the line. The, the power is there. And, and I think that – you know, as he gets more playing time, as he gets more strength and, and the ability to compete, you're going to see a lot of great things from Matty. Now, we talk about him being a, a quarterback as well. You know, what are some of the advantages, especially since, you know, a lot of kids are getting more specialized in sports, but what are some of the advantages of being a multi-sport athlete? Because I always find that, yeah, specialization is good, but when you have a multi-sport athlete, I mean, you look at all the big star players that, uh, you know, are in the majors or in the NBA or any sport, they usually played multiple sports growing up. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that, you know, one of the advantages you get is, is just the fact that you get to see things differently, right? Right. You're, you're not focused in on one thing. You're, you're figuring out how, you know, as a quarterback. Well, we'll see how that all works out for uh, Matt. To see what happens with uh, college and football and baseball and all the rest of that kind of stuff. So now, uh, Tuesday, I open my email and I do it once a day in the mornings. And I got a request from Billy uh, uh, to do a food review. And what I did, I attempted the food review, and here's, here's what happened. I found a request from Billy for a food review on a place called Coastal Bagels. And uh, I looked it up to see where it is, and it turns out Coastal Bagels is right here on 37th Street which is where the bulk of my medical team is located. In other words, right across the street is uh, the staff uh, plastic surgeon. I've got, uh, there's a guy pulling into a parking spot here. Okay. I just move out of the way a little bit. Let these people go. A uh, dermatologist is down there and uh, the cardiologist is around the corner. So. It's a great location because sometimes you get backed up with appointments, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and there's no place to get lunch down here. So we're going to check out Coastal Bagels and see what it is they got. Well, I'm really sorry. There's not going to be a uh, food review on Coastal Bagels. It's a, it turns out it's it's a uh, storefront in a, a thing called the Riverside Medical Center which is, you know, one of the things connected to a Cleveland Clinic. And, I mean, there are doctors and clinics and all kinds of things all off this 37th Street. It's like a, a medical mall. Anyway, I went in there, I took a look, uh, and uh, a line a mile long, and I'm not a line guy, uh, so I didn't, I didn't check it out. It's... Uh, uh, it's unfortunate. I I don't think I don't think it's going to be a lunch go to thing when I'm backed up with appointments, and uh, I don't I don't know I don't know quite what to say. I mean, uh, 
I really wanted to review a bagel and I'm, I love to find a good bagel in Florida and you absolutely cannot, or I can't, that's for sure. And we've tried Einstein Brothers, Brooklyn Bagels, uh, uh, every place that sells bagels and you're just as well off with uh, Sam's Club Bagels or uh, Publix Bagels. Anyway, uh, uh, this week's food review on Coastal Bagels is a bust. I'm sorry, Billy. I, I regret it, but it, it just can't be helped. Well, I'll tell you what. Florida is absolutely great for weather. It's a uh, very nice living. Uh, an easy, very easy place to deal with. Uh, but I'll tell you what, if you're looking for decent pizza or decent bagels in this case, uh, Florida is not the place. You, you're just not going to get them there. So uh, I, I attempted uh, with Coastal Bagels and uh, no good, absolutely no good at all. Now, I've done a bunch of shooting this week, and uh, I really, at the time I put this report together, I really haven't had the opportunity to uh, put it all into uh, some kind of a co coherent format. Uh, so, and I'll, I'll see if the shots are good enough, and if they are, I'll put together a little video for it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, that's my report for this week. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Uh, Everybody, take care. Have a nice weekend.